Um, it's just, it's just really, really, really sad, man. Oh, this shit is funny. Rooted history. This is hysterical. Five black men in dresses and makeup and faces beat with makeup complaining about cultural appropriation. This is the thing that you can't compete with, Gladys. The lack of self-awareness. Because the lack of self-awareness would be, it would be a good thing if you could call it out. You're not allowed to call it out. So the lack of well self-awareness just goes unchecked. And but I, what's the difference between these men sitting here looking like this and your average sister with the weave and the eyelashes? They look about the same to me. Yeah. And these guys are culturally appropriating womanhood. Salute to my man Steve S. coming through once again. Steve S. Ock Nation Hall of Famer, man. Salute to the Hines family. Bonafide Sun Man here. Watch this show, family. All right, man. Sun Man. Salute, Sun Man. Um, let's see what these 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 let's see what these women are talking about. Side in the source material. Yeah, I just feel like there's such a long-rooted history in appropriation from black culture. Like for instance, like when I go to the Metropolitan Museum and I see things that they've taken from Africa, I see things that they've taken from Nubia, mm -hmm. and then you go mm -hmm. and you artifacts. yes, and then you go and you look at these pillars and then there's this white man samuel something something 1800 going and saying i'm putting my ownership yeah. on something that was never mine to begin with and then they go yeah i discovered it so then it gives me this ownership like i can take it and it can be mine and i feel like it's that entitlement that is one thing that we really need to discuss like there is a way i feel to very much so appreciate somebody's culture but so many Gliders, this is a huge L. Even these guys are talking cash shit about you in public. Think about it, Gliders. You're so you you're so you're so in the fucking dumps. You're so fucked over that these guys are talking cash shit about y'all. In public. Wow. While wearing um, Asian woman hair. <laughs> Whew, salute to my man, Eric S, man, coming through once again, man. Eric S, Op Nation All Pro, man, coming through once again. It's just sad, man, when you got you to think about it. Like, these guys, they would never talk about Pookie and Ray Ray. They would never talk about Jorge and goddamn Hector. They only talk about you because you're fucking pieces of shit. You can't do nothing about it. Hey, I, what's up, man? You know how I said in like 10 years, a lot of people aren't going to stand for this shit? Yeah. No, I'd like to lower that to at least eight years after watching this shit. <laughs> Yeah, man, everybody's glider men are fair game. Glider men are fair, even the women, because we can call them a Karen. If we brand you a Karen, you're, you're not human anymore. We can say anything about you. You lose your womanhood once you, we call you a Karen. But, I don't know. I don't know how to say. I'm, I'm not surprised, you know, a video like this exists, but I'm surprised a video like this exists, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's just sad, man. The, how 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 fall how far glider men have fallen man it's it is it is um when when they talk about white culture it's like fish that don't know that they're sm swimming in water mm -hmm. they everything they do is white culture and they don't realize it yeah, eight years they'll realize it. Nah, they'll never realize that. You're just gonna have to go through them and go around them or go over them. I, I personally, I don't know if I want to go through them, but I'll definitely go around them. But the, the just, sure. but everything, 
that it's so common to but say everything that is so have no I'm culture sorry. it's like it, white people have the dominant culture and it's it's so absurd that it isn't recognized that it is the dominant culture and it's not a flex it's just that's just the fact every language don't want to but admit the it. thing but the thing they don't want to recognize is everything they associate with as being white culture is what makes the world civilized Okay, exactly. let's not let's not mince words here. And everything they call black and being black culture is the savagery in the worst parts of the world. Other uh, things that they are ashamed of. That's why they sit up there with Asian women's hair on their head and with Asian women's lashes on, and they're ashamed of themselves as being men because that's why they're sitting up there looking like that. Nobody in that right mind will walk around looking like that. Yeah, that's that's a just, mental illness. It is, man. It is, man. Um, look like that in some, um, in some African countries, see how that works out for them. Right. It, it, it definitely get get um, raped or beat up. Um, salute to um, this black man here, man. Um, this brother right here was arrested for allegedly spraying neo-Nazi lynching and anti-gay graffiti on a black Atlanta church. James McIntyre was quickly released without bail. Some people online blamed white supremacy and white people for the hateful messages. So yeah, this guy, the Atlanta church that allegedly had that graffiti written all over, you can see it there. This is the guy who did it. And just even the religion of Christianity, that has no roots in Africa. Now, well, that's what I said. This whole this whole thing that they talk about being black and white people culturally appropriating, your whole idea, your whole foundation that you're standing on, you are culturally appropriate. Yep. Everything, words, language, having um, bras, tampons, um decent yeah. shoes shoes let's period. start with the basics <laughs> yeah everything everything that makes um the world what it is today um is is is, is it was it was created by gliders and um we all know it every some man knows it but we we um we know we I mean, can gliders, beat you take it for granted the gliders into the deepest part of the ocean and and into the moon, the highest part. And they don't flex at all for that. They don't even like mention the fact. They don't say white excellence, nothing like that. White, white excellence. <laughs> yeah, because because usually in real life, you notice people who who really do shit like that. They don't flex either. People people don't flex like 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 if you if you if you fucking hear Rakim or Jay Z or Nas talk, they're the most humblest, meekest dudes ever. You know what I'm saying? You you like that's that's how that that's rock kill. It's humble. The the, yeah, the, the people that are, the people that are the best at everything are usually either humble or the, you now you'll get some people like Kanye that are um just you know braggadocious, but for the most part, most people are are unassuming, humble, and you know what they do is just natural, so it's not something to brag about because it's just it's like breathing. Um, As a matter of fact, I, I believe a lot of the um, uh, the sun people that they brag on behalf of the sun people that do well, because that way they kind of get because they say like, oh, this is the first oh, sun yeah. person is such and such without such a such. doubt, without they're a doubt, like actually trying to congratulate themselves because they're like, oh, he's a sun, I'm a sun. Who were basically both successful in that case. Exactly. Oh, that's definitely what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, 